Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. In this sneak peek video, I want to give you guys a tour of the new On One Sync service. If you haven't heard of Sync, it's a platform that allows you to view, change the metadata, and edit your photos no matter what device they live on. It's super handy. It's like having all your photos in the cloud without having to store them there. So rather than being inside my stuffy office, I thought it'd be fun to show you how this works here inside of a coffee shop. All of my photos actually live on my big computer back in my studio. You see it right there. But I can view and edit them here on my Windows laptop at the coffee shop. Here inside of Sync, if you look at the folders section, you'll see a section for On One Sync. And when I roll it down, you'll see all of the computers that I've set to Sync. One of the great things about Sync is you choose which photos, which computers, which folders, which albums you actually want to synchronize. So it's not an all or nothing solution. You don't have to put every single thing you shoot into Sync. You pick what's important to you. So here you can see I've published two catalog folders. I can also publish my albums. And you can see an album over here of my recent favorites. I'm just going to explore through some of my folders and I'll find a photo that I want to work on. You can see that browsing your photos is just like having them on your computer. I can browse through them quickly through their folders, see the thumbnails. I can see a large version of a photo. And when I find one I want to edit, I simply move to edit with it. This is powered by our powerful sync previews. They're kind of like a compressed raw photo. It allows us to edit the photo remotely without having to store the original photo in the cloud, but you still have all the dynamic range of the original raw photo. So I'm going to make some adjustments here inside of edit, the typical kind of adjustments I would make to optimize my photo. I'm going to use AI auto first. I'll make a couple little minor adjustments here. Let's add a little structure to it. And while we're at it, let's add some effects. I'm going to click on effects and I'm going to go in and let's make this black and white. There we go. Add a layer, and let's add a vignette. That's looking pretty good. You know, I probably should crop this real quick while I'm here. I'm gonna grab the crop tool. Let's drag out a crop and adjust it. There we go. Now, when I go back to browse, if we wait a couple seconds, we go back to the camera that's at my office, look at the Mac, you can see that same photo, and bam, you'll see that just a couple seconds later, it's updated that preview. So all of the non-destructive settings that I did on that sync preview on my laptop at the coffee shop synchronize up to the cloud and back to my desktop computer. And this works on more than just computers. It works on Mac and Windows computers, laptops or desktops, but it also works on iOS and Android devices. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you're lounging on your hammock on a beautiful Saturday morning. You just came back from a photo trip. Your friend Jim that you took a trip with just sent you a photo that he edited. You really want to show him the edit that you did of the same photo. But you're stuck out on your hammock. I don't want to go inside the house to do it. Well, I can just grab my iPhone or my Android phone, and using the On One Photo mobile app, I can access all of my photos that I've shared. I can find that photo in my recent album. Uh oh, looks like I haven't actually edited it yet. We might as well do that while we're here too. So I'm just gonna take it into edit. I'll use AI Auto. AI Auto does a great job right off the bat. There we go. Maybe we'll turn on a little structure. Maybe we'll dial down a little bit of haze. That looks pretty good. You know, while we're at it, let's make the greens look a little more green. We'll click in effects. I'll go to the color adjustment pane. I'm just going to grab the yellows, shift those yellows more to green. Add a little bit more saturation. Pretty good. Yeah, let's add a vignette. We'll turn the vignette pane on. Make a couple adjustments to vignette. There you go. I was able to edit a raw photo from my phone lounging on my hammock. I didn't have to have the raw photo on my phone, and I didn't have to get up. I was able to create a great looking edit right here. It's going to synchronize across all of my devices. That's the power of On One Sync. Thanks for watching.